go by Bisco Smith. I'm a painter. I'm a father. I'm a husband. Brother. Human. And I'm like rooted in graffiti and skateboarding and that culture. And uh, so a lot of where I'm at today is, is grown from that seed. I got involved with the Curtis Jones Project through Daniel. Daniel Washington reached out to me online. I found this guy on Instagram, his name is Bisco Smith. He's an amazing artist. I'm a personal fan of his. I have two pieces of his at home. And it just made a lot of sense. I felt like his style and everything that he brought and his energy really would speak to the people who'd be able to visit the court and enjoy it. I think the intention is amazing. The products are what they're making. Like the parks themselves are really dope. I mean, I get to paint a basketball court with the energy behind Curtis Jones. And it's just all really feels good, you know? And I try to make choices by what feels good. Maybe I'm still chasing a certain energy. And may maybe it's what I molded myself to be or where I find my peace. Making art is how I process the world. There's gonna be a lot of writing based on this idea of read the past and write the future. And I, I sort of came up with that based on the Curtis Jones story. There's a baseline intention in the art. There's abstraction, there's writing, so there's thinking. There's, there's a subconscious that everyone playing on this court is gonna feel in terms of art. I'd say anything's possible. I always try to tell the young people that. Like, you, it took me a lot of years to realize you really can do whatever you want to do. You just got to put your mind to it, see the vision, and be prepared to do the work. But that's really real. So as long as you believe in what you could do, the world is yours. Mm -hmm.